What is going on everybody, it is Mokiba here back with a brand new video and in today's video I have a special review for you guys. These are a bunch of the new Fallout TV show items from K-Town Bricks and I may be the first one to review these, if not, oh well. Uh, but I definitely wanted to review these and show you guys and you know get a video up for you guys. So that being said, I have two figures. I think they are the main characters or at least two of the main characters. We have a head pack a bunch of tiles and some accessories so without further ado let's get right into the review alright guys before I show you the figures I do need to say one thing which is a big shout out to Brick Ready Op on YouTube and Instagram he's an amazing human being he actually is the one who required these for me while he was at Brick World and without him I wouldn't have these figures so thank you so much dude I really appreciate that it means a lot to me that you went out of your way to do this. And uh, guys, give him a follow on Instagram. Follow him and subscribe to him on YouTube. He is an amazing human being, like I said. And he makes some really cool videos, great reviews. And yeah, he's a collector like all of us. So big shout out to you, dude. Thank you very much. All right, guys. So now I want to show you the actual figures. So here's the packaging for both of them. This one is the Ghoulish Gunslinger. And this is the Jolly Bunkered Buddy. Honestly... Uh, pretty creative names in my opinion. Packaging though is really really top notch. Very unique. I like the long style clamshell. They are both $30 as you, as you can see. So together they would be 60 bucks, maybe plus tax. I'm not too sure how that worked at Brick World. But $30 in my opinion for a figure is a bit pricey but I think it's reasonable for the amount of printing you're getting on these figures especially with the Vault Dweller. So that being said, let's take a look at the back because they're pretty much the same. So just want to get it out of the way. They're both stating on the back that they're pad printed. As you can see that this is the Jolly Bunker Buddy and this is the Ghoulish Gunslinger. Everything else is the exact same. You got the Vault Tech logo up there, which is pretty cool. The attention of detail on the cards alone are really nice. I do like the design aspect to it. So. That being said, let's actually check out the figures. So first off, we're going to start with the Vault Dweller. As you can see, she's got some blood on her t-shirt. Uh, we also have some hip detailing. Honestly, I really, I like this figure a lot. I definitely like that she comes with her uh, accessory there. It's the tranquilizer gun that they added for the show, I'm pretty sure. Um, as you can see, she's also beat up a little bit. She's got some scratches and everything. She looks exhausted, like she's got some rad poisoning. As you can see there, that pit boy just looks really good. It is in that silver detail, which is okay in my opinion. I'm not too keen on the silver pit boy. Uh, I do like the OD Green original um, one in my opinion, but you know, I'm definitely liking that they were able to at least get the pit boy printed on there. On the back, you can see some more hip detailing, um, also some belt and leg printing. I really like the wraparound printing. I think that's pretty cool. She's from Vault 33, as you guys all know, if you watched the show. On this side, you do see that she has more arm printing detail, which is really nice. I'm glad that this figure has kind of just 360 printing. Uh, we have some more leg or side leg printing, which is the holster for the gun. And same for this side too, if you can see that. She has some more leg detail. Overall, I really like the details on this figure. I, I like how her vault suit is unzipped too, revealing the tank top with the blood on it. Um, it would have been nice to honestly have a standard vault suit, or at least her version of it. But I'm very thankful that I was able to get this figure. I think it's really cool. Knee pads are really cool. Honestly, I believe that this figure is a 8 out of 10 overall on quality and design. So really, really excited to have a pad printed just fallout figure to begin with. So we're going to now go on to the Ghoulish Gunslinger. All right, so here's the Ghoulish Gunslinger. He's honestly really cool. Probably the better one out of the two just because... He looks just crazy cool. Uh, the skull-like ghoul face, super sick. He comes with a accessory as well, which is his shotgun, or at least what should be his shotgun. Kind of seems a bit small, but um, it is a molded injected piece, which is really cool. He has, I think, 360 printing as well, as you can see just on the legs there. He does have back printing as well and back leg printing, which is pretty cool. It's got his bandolier on there. Uh, no arm printing, as you guys can see. 
and that torso is just phenomenal. Honestly, really, really good. I love the detail on it. I like how he has his bullets on there. He just looks like, honestly, you could use that for a Western torso, the whole torso and leg. You could use that for Western if you wanted to, which I really like. I do believe that this ghoul face is one of the best ones I've seen out there in, in terms of custom minifigures. Honestly, love the figure. This is a 9 out of 10, 100% for me, only because it's it's not it doesn't have arm printing like the uh, Vault Dweller does. And for the amount of thought and detail for both of these figures, I really just think the two together, you can't miss. So, love these figures, 100%. Now, we're going to go on to the head pack. So, for $6 here, you could get the head that Lucy cuts off. So here is the head. Honestly, it does not look like the Doctor at all, in my opinion. It kind of just looks like a standard zombie face. The printing doesn't look the best, in my opinion. kind of looks like it's UV, but that's just from visually looking at it. That is what um, I kind of took away from that, or at least this design. Overall, it's cool to have the zombie head. Or not the zombie head. See, that's what I'm saying. It looks like a zombie head. But it's cool to have the head that she cuts off that, you know, if you've seen the show, spoiler warning, that they're all trying to acquire to gain power of the land. So, really cool to be able to get that. I'm going to set the head right here. So, here's the custom saw piece. Really, really happy that I was able to get this. I think this piece is super cool. It's unfortunate I was only able to get one of these just because it's not a separate accessory. It only comes with the head pack there, but this is super cool. I really love the detail on it, and I'm glad to have it. Next, we're going to look at all these accessories. Well, not all of them, but definitely one of each. Really, really cool, and glad I was able to get these as well. So thank you again, Brick Ratty Up. So dumping out all of these, we're going to look at the flags first. So starting off with the flags, this is the Enclave flag. I'm pretty sure I haven't really played the other games enough to understand the factions completely but um, I'm pretty sure that's what this is really like the designs love the stars and it is a really crisp print I did get two of those so that's pretty cool next we have the Brotherhood of Steel really really like this faction um, it is very prominent in the TV show and actually I just joined this playing the Fallout 4 campaign so Really, really glad to get two of these flags as well. Next, we have the New California Republic, which is also relevant to the show. Honestly, I like this one a lot just because of the detail. Really unique, and I'm glad to get two of these as well. So next, we're going to be looking at some Mintents. I really like these, and I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, this is from MedTech. Really, really cool because, I mean, it's a pad-printed Fallout tile, and it looks incredible. I did get two of these, or no, I was able to acquire three. So thank you so much, Brick Rowdy App, for getting me three of these. Very, very cool. Love the detail on these. They are going to look great in any Fallout mock. This is on a trans clear piece, which I think is perfect. It is Radaway, and you can't have enough of this. I did get three of them, like I said. Uh, they absolutely look incredible. I mean, this is probably the best printed and designed Radaway um, Fallout tile I've ever seen. And that's just my opinion. Very, very thankful that I was able to get three of these. Next, we're going to look at the injection molded pieces. Um, I'm going to start with the weapons. They These were actually separate, the like stun pistols. Um, not too sure the exact names of them, but I was able to get two more. I think they added this in a DLC or something to 76, but I'm not too sure exactly. Don't quote me on that. But it's a cool gun. I like it in the show, and I was glad to get two more. So now I have technically three with the figure. All right, so next we're going to take a look at the last gun that I got, which is the 10 millimeter pistol. Absolutely love this gun in the game. It is just super fun to mod and honestly use and it's right in the beginning of the game too so you get early access to it really really cool detail and I was able to get three of these 
And I think K-Town did a great job at injection molding all of these. Okay, so next we're going to take a look at the last item. Uh, I have two color variations. These are stem packs. They are in the show. They're in the game. I love stem packs. I use them all the time, especially because I'm constantly battling stuff in Fallout 4. But they are so cool. They came in two different colors, which is a gunmetal and a silver. I honestly prefer the silver one, so we're going to take a look at that one. Looks just like a stem pack. Absolutely love these. They're incredible. The best stem packs I've ever seen. And I, I'm i really glad I got these. I think they're really cool. I got three of each color. And they're going to be perfect for Fallout. And I hope to get more. I hope these are released so everybody can get them. But yeah, this is a stem pack. Very detailed. And I think it's perfect. So good job, K-Town Bricks. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. I absolutely love these K-Town Brick products. They knocked it out of the park. Absolutely love the Fallout TV show. And I hope to see more pad printed Fallout items in the future, especially from K-Town Bricks. They did a great job with these. And I hope they release soon so everybody can acquire them. That being said, a big shout out again to Brick Ready Up. Thank you so much for getting these for me, man. Guys, subscribe to him, follow him. Don't forget to subscribe to me and follow me for more. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.